In a game played by big men, NFL offensive linemen are some of the biggest of all. Whether they're blocking for a running back or protecting the quarterback, these giants of the O-line know how to use size to their advantage. I mean, there's some big guys that play in the NFL, especially on the defensive line. So sometimes it's big guys just hitting you know, other big guys and you try to move, and low man really wins. Who wins the battle of the gridiron Goliaths? According to the laws of physics, it's the player who stays the lowest and masters the concept of torque, which is the tendency of a force to make an object rotate around an axis. A torque is anything that causes another object to spin. In the NFL, we see torque whenever one player collides with another, causing him to rotate or spin. What's key is the distance of the force from the rotation axis. This distance is called the lever, or moment arm. So where the force is applied to an object determines whether there's a torque. If I hit dead on, no torque. If I hit a little bit to the side and cause spinning, I have a torque. To counter the rotational force, coaches at all levels teach players to stay as low as possible. Get low now, get low, let's get low, get low. Tony Schmitz is a former Division I college football player and currently a coach for the Newberry High School football team. But as a mechanical and aerospace engineer at the University of Florida, he understands the physics behind staying low. Coaches often talk to players about staying low, and there's different phrases they use, like the low man wins, um, because if I can have my center of mass low and um, exert my force against somebody with their center of mass high, I'm more likely to push that person over and win the battle. A player's center of mass, often referred to as their center of gravity, is the point on a body where mass is most concentrated. So the center of mass is the average location of mass for any body. For a lineman, for example, that center of mass is usually somewhere near the navel. When a player crouches, his center of mass is lowered. And that's one reason you want to stay low, because if you're low, you're taking advantage of the laws of physics that says that if you can't get to my center of mass, it's hard for you to make me rotate. The low man wins on this one. It's the key. Consider Orlando Pace, seven-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle with the St. Louis Rams, who stands six foot seven, 325 pounds. His center of mass is located just above his hips. By crouching, Pace not only lowers his center of mass, but he's now in a position to impart a bigger torque because he's able to hit upward on his opponent. By hitting on the rise, um, we can actually increase the torque that we apply to a body um, because as we start low, there's a low moment arm um, from where we apply the force to the ground. But as we get higher, that moment arm increases and we're applying more torque. As pace rises from the crouch position, the distance between his opponent's pivot point and the location where pace applies the force increases, allowing him to impart a higher torque on his opponent. To move a guy off the line against his will is probably the biggest success as an offensive line you can do. If that guy's trying to come forward, you're moving him back. As an offensive lineman, that's our touchdown. And in a game where the low man wins, that success comes one push at a time.